Hello everybody and today I'm going to show you how to test the Sega Moon Magnet PCB. So this is the Moon Magnet PCB here which is basically just a MOSFET and some control circuitry. Uh, we need two channels of power supply and a load tester. So let's explain first what we've got. So from the pinout, pin 1 is the gate control, uh, pin 3 is the input voltage reference, pin 4 is the output which is the, the negative current control and pin 5 is the ground. So we hook up the ground lead to the ground of one of the power supplies. Now please note I have, I have basically earth reference the negative on this and on this as well. So basically the grounds are common between the two without me having to use more than one lead. So that's that one pin there. So this pin here, pin 3, is the input reference voltage. So that's the this supply set to 30. I mean, in a pin wall machine it's 50 volts, but 30 is going to be good enough for testing. Also I could use the double channel here and I could basically put in series to create the 50 volt there, but I don't need to do that. Uh, so this is our power source here and I've got it limited to a small amount, just 123 milliamps. Arbitrary value, but uh, it's basically just so I don't short anything out or smoke anything. And then this is going to be our gate control power supply. So we've got this one. Let's just we'll set this one to five volts. So we can basically switch between five and zero to allow us to control the gate. And then we've got our load tester here. So so we're back to here. So this is our, so again that's our ground, that's our input reference voltage, this is our gate control. So the gate control is connected to this power supply here. Again remember it's earth referenced. We've got our set to 5. This is our output negative and that goes to the load tester. So that's the negative from the output gate and then we've got the positive of the load tester connected to our input reference voltage here. So that's our 30 volts to load tester, and that goes to the control over here. So what we're going to do, we switch on the 30 volt supply. And not, we can see it's on, it's not drawing any current at the minute. And this should be off. Let's just set this to zero. So we've got the power supply set to zero. This should be off load tester here, so what we're going to do, set it to 100 milliamps, switch it on, and you can see you're pulling 100 milliamps at 3 volt, which is nearly 3 watts, which well, should be 3 watts, but uh, due to uh, losses in the leads it's not. Anyway, so this is switched on when it shouldn't be, so that indicates we've probably got a shorted MOSFET, but we also can check, we've got a couple of else we've got, we've got a resistor, diode, capacitor, I believe we've also got another resistor and diode just there. So we can test everything but I'm thinking this MOSFET's going to be shorted. So there you go, that's how you prove whether the moon magnet is working or not. So I went ahead and pulled the MOSFET and tested it out of circuit and funny enough we've got uh, 86 ohms between gate and source so that's going to be bad, should be pretty high resistance. Uh, stuck a new IRL540 in there we're going to repeat the same test we did before. Right, we're wired up and ready to test again. Let's just verify the wiring. So, pin 5 ground. That is correct. Wired here. This is our 30 volt reference. Going to pin 3. That's correct. That's uh, pin 1. That's our gate supply. That is correct. And then we've got the ground current supply from pin 4, which is our output. And then the load tester is connected to the 30 volt reference. Everything's looking good. Let's turn on our 30 volt supply. That is on. No current being drawn. Nothing showing on the load tester. Next, we turn on our gate supply. Got our set at zero volts. Again, nothing on the load tester. We switch the load tester on. We've set to 100 milliamps. Nothing showing. Uh, so, nothing's been drawn. So, what we'll do is we will turn up our gate voltage now. I think the threshold's going to be like two, two and a half volts. So what I'll do, see if I can get both in shot. I'm not sure I can focus on both. Yeah, that's not too bad. Let's move these wires out of the way. When we hit two and a half volts on the re on the uh, gate reference, you should see the load tester basically drawing current. So here we go, two volts coming up, and you see it ramping up. So there you go. 
30 volts 100 milliamps is being shown now what we'll do we'll give this a bit of a better test let's just set that to the reference view Do an amp. Right, so we just put, we've got a current limit of just over an amp set, and we will crank this up. One amp, thirty watts. That's twenty nine point nine volts. So it's twenty nine point nine watts being drawn. Not getting hot, which is what we expect because these are obviously capable of drawing significant currents uh, let's turn it off it goes off we, we hit 2 volts and it comes back on 30 watts let's get brave, let's just crank this up a little more let's just put, hold down the set button we'll do 2 amps come on, 10, there we go 2 amp limit let's crank this up, let's just switch it off first Yeah, two amps set, we're on, we're on, let's turn up the gate voltage, there we go, near enough 60 watts being drawn, getting slightly warm, yeah that's absolutely fine that, not really, not too much at all, so we verify we can switch off and on just by controlling the gate voltage so that is now a fully working moon magnet PCB thanks for watching